Okay, hello Rivers. I am leaving you a message. My name is Claire Louise Davies Fenwick. I am mixed race. A lot of people wouldn't say that I'm mixed race and I'm also bipolar. I have got um, family who are connected to royalty. They are connected to Prince Charles and I am someone outside of the family who has grown up in Scotland and I have also lived in America. So you see, when I went to America Rivers, I was introduced to my womanhood. I was introduced to the sorority sisters. They chose me because I took interest in them. Now the sorority sisters in America are humanitarians much like the army who will fight and all the freedom fighters and all of these kind of people so i have to disagree with you right now we are going through institutional racism which we have had in this institution for centuries okay henry the eighth okay divorced Princess Catherine of Ar Catherine of Aragon of Spain, who was a Catholic, and he decided to divorce her and marry Anne Boleyn. Now, I believe that I am Anne Boleyn in our previous incarnation. And so, you see, because of uh, me and Henry VIII, we have completely destroyed destroyed this country but at the time you see there was a big rebellion much like there is one coming now but you might wonder to ask what kind of rebellion is happening what is behind it what what is on the agenda and the agenda that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have is institutional racism and human slavery. We have had in this country, well, I'm only going back, I was born in 1983, okay? Ethnical cleansing, okay? Now we know that we have ethnical cleansing abroad, that's why we have soldiers who fight to go out to war, that is why the royals go abroad and mix and mingle with absolutely everyone of any color, of any creed, sexuality, anything like that. You know what I mean? Any kind of prejudice is removed by mixed race culture. Now we do have mixed race, mixed race culture. World War II, World War II brought everybody around the world mixed. Children had to leave their homes and flee and go to states with other families and everyone mixed around. Now, the only movement, well, there's a, the, we've had terrorism. We have a Catholic. We have a Catholic movement going on right now, formed by the Mafia. Now, we wonder what the Mafia is, Rivers, or sorry, River. The Mafia is of all forms of children who have been abused, okay? And ethnically cleansed. It's like we're all, it's like one, one side, it's one side of the, one side of people, you should say, one side of race want to, and on both white and black and mixed race, it doesn't matter, okay? People want to buy organs, okay? They want to buy organs because their loved one has an organ defect or their child has an organ defect. So it's became a big industry since Frankenstein. I mean, Frankenstein replaced the satanic mills with all the children in the Industrial Revolution. So the world we seem to live in, River, is survival of the fittest, Darwinism. So through Darwinism, 
we are going towards atheism. Atheism brings us towards Satan. Okay? Now we can't do this anymore. Now I have my sister, my sisters all around the world. Megan is a sister. She is coming over here as Harry's wife and she is supporting him fully in what he wants to do and what she wants to do. They're artists, darling. They're artists and they're humanitarians and they're freedom fighters. And they have gone to America because of the institutional racism and I can understand her viewpoints entirely. What kind of princess is she going to be when we have this movement going on? So she is merely taking over, they are both taking on the movement that Princess Diana started with the Mafia. Okay, and we, what happened to Princess Diana? What happened to President Kennedy? He got shot in the head for the Black Civil Rights Movement by white supremacy. So my granddad knew all of these. My granddad knew all of these things. I am an abused child who has had to go into the mafia and also go with the army and with the humanitarians to rescue our world that we live in. Now, I like listening to your videos, but I think that you need to consider institutional racism. What does it mean? What does human slavery mean? Okay? And then you will really, really, really stop putting them down. They're helping me. They're helping many people around the world breaking this cruel existence that we live in. We have millions of people in this city with no identity cards, no money. And you're like, why are you ga Why are these people gangsters? Why are they going into crime? And you will see crime can be formed in all kinds of classes, in all kinds of ways, from all kinds of different people. So I would really like you to research Megan and really, really find out, Rivers, find out, is there a Nazi white supremacy movement going on through the forms of brainwashing techniques as they did in the 16th century when they uh, killed Catholics and completely destroyed the United Kingdom. We've had Brexit and we've got atheism and we've got institutional racism. We have too much negativity. The sisters are calling. The sisters are calling because it's Mother Earth and the climate is dying out. The bees are dying. So we are on a movement, Rivers. And Megan, being the feminist, mixed race female that she is, she's on that with us and that comes first. And that is why I value her as a princess. And I don't agree with all this. Um, oh my, you, it's like things that you've said, you've said things like, oh, oh, like this affair, the affair, the alleged affair of Prince William and some other person within that circle, or oh, it should only stay within the, the aristocracy, not to mix with celebrity. It's highly offensive when Megan's American and she's a celebrity and she comes from a different kind of family. Now, I thought it was racist of, the, uh, <laughs> of whoever's organising this place to send her to a sex clinic with bananas on it to write messages. Even if she laughed, I think she felt deeply offended. Now, I'm mixed race. You might not see it in my, in, in my colour. You might see it in my head shape. 
uh, I don't know whether we'll see it, but I am. My hair. Uh, but I found that highly racist. And I also understand the American culture too. So I want you to consider this, okay? And stop offending Princess Meghan. I am totally like, we should support them, okay? Look at the state of our country. Look at the state of our economy. And I have Scotland, Bonnie Scotland, on side, ready to invade England. If this system doesn't stop doing, it doesn't tackle human slavery, okay? My name's Claire, Louise, Catherine, Anne, Jane, Davies, Fenwick.